This image of the canine robot has a poor quality. If I run it via this photo enhancer software, that exact image is the end outcome, but with much better quality. Here is the AI photo enhancer from AVC Labs. The software is already set up and installed. I only need to drag and drop the image file into this window or click on browse to begin editing any picture. Let me import these three pictures now. As you can see, all of these pictures have a poor resolution, less than 720p, and none of them exceed 100 kilobytes in size. You'll find a list of features in the upper portion of this right panel. Here is where you will decide what you want to do with the pictures. There are several AI tools available, including an AI upscaler, AI denoiser, AI color calibration tool, AI background removal, and AI black and white photo colorizer. You can choose the scaling factor in the output parameters, up to a maximum of 400%. The final image type can be selected using the output image format. Wherever you decide to save the result file is in the save directory. I'm going to choose AI Upscaler and increase the output size for these photographs to a maximum of 400%. I would check the box for facial enhancement if the image had a human face. I won't check it because there isn't a face in any of the three pictures. I'll click save all after I'm done setting everything up. I gave the AI the photographs to process. All three images were processed in about 50 seconds. You can see a preview of the image once the model has been applied to it by clicking the eye symbol at the top. As you can see, the image has some truly fantastic features added. Here are the images both before and after using this AI program to upscale them. Really, it did a good job. The face refinement feature also performs admirably. With these two pictures, I'll show you what I mean. Depending on how much is going on in the picture, face refinement does take some time but is very effective. These two images took about 4 minutes to upsize and refine. The outcomes are shown here. Additionally, the AI Colorizer tool performs an excellent job at identifying and interpreting the subject colors in an all-white and black image. These two images will be colored. I'll choose the AI Colorizer, make some adjustments, set the output size to a factor of 3, and then click the Save All button. For both photographs, this colorization process was finished in around 21 seconds. I could get a preview of these images by selecting the eye icon up top. Here are the final results following the changes. Images can easily have their backgrounds removed. Simply import the pictures, go to the AI background remover, choose your preferred output settings, and then press the Save All button. Only the subjects remain once the background has been eliminated. The pictures are being previewed here. You are free to choose another background for those photographs in its place. The UI for the ABC Labs Video Enhancer AI is equally uncluttered and straightforward. Simply browse or drag the video file into the desired location to begin editing. This video file here is of poor quality. There are just two options in this feature list. AI Upscaler and a Face Blur. Brightness, Saturation, and Contrast adjustments are available in the video settings. The Cropping tool is an additional option. If you are using video files from a Blu-ray or TV, select the deinterlacing box. The output options support resolutions of up to 4K and 8K. The video output type and saving directory can also be changed. Use the blue pointer to mark any area of the file below the video preview. If you don't want to upscale the entire video, simply move the cursor to the start and end points and use the brackets to indicate the start and end times, respectively. To reset the selections, use the rounded arrow. This video will be upscaled to 4K resolution, which will take some time. I'll make a few modifications and settings, then all I have to do is click Start Processing. I'll skip over it and show you the outcomes. It's really simple to denoise videos. I'm going to upscale and denoise this brief footage because it's grainy. I'll click on Start Processing after configuring and changing all relevant parameters. The AI is capable of some excellent image cleanup, as you can see. It is much crisper and sharper in the image on the right. The end outcome, both before and after, is shown here. You might need this program if you create content or work as a graphic designer. Thanks for your time. Post any comments or feedback you may have. The sponsors of this video will receive all feedback. Thanks for watching.